Hey guys, new video here. So I got the bike assembled. Uh, it actually came on time. Um, so Amazon delivery is a little bit different. I thought they were actually going to send it through like UPS or USPS or FedEx or something like that, but they have their own delivery service. So, uh, yeah, it, but it came on time. Um, so here is the fat bike. It's a Mongoose 26 inch, 4, uh, four inch wide fat bike's tire. Quality is decent. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Damn it! I was gonna, I was hoping to go for a bike ride. Okay, so much for that. But anyway, so I guess now I can just make this video a little, a little bit longer. Um, yeah, quality is okay. I did have to adjust the disc brakes a little bit so that they're not rubbing. Um, I of course flipped the handlebar so that the shifter is on this side. So and then I'll put the half throttle on this side right here. And so this cardboard box is a close approximation of a four kilowatt hour battery. Um, it is a little bit longer this way and a little bit taller this way, but it's a little bit sh shorter this way. So it's going to be maybe half an inch wider. And this is the bare battery without a battery box. And so, you know, I, I think it will work out pretty well. So if you take a look at that, looking it down, so now that's about straight. You know, it doesn't actually hit the pedal cranks at all, um, like this. And, you know, one, the way I was going to do this is I was going to cut the tube here and cut the tube here. And then make, like, you know, using, what's that thing called? <clears throat> plumbing uh, metal or plumbing pipes. Make it go like this. But you know, now that I think about it, so this clear box is exactly the size of one of the batteries. So two kilowatt hour battery. You know, obviously without without any of the boxes or padding or anything like that. Um, you know, it it could actually work like so. You know, they have the seats where. It kind of comes up and it angles back like that. If I might be able to put it like one on this side like this, and then one on this side like like that. And if I do that, let's just see what happens. You know, it might. <clears throat> It might be enough where I can pedal the bike without hitting the actual. You know, I need. I mean, either way, I need it. Oh, yeah, something like like this. So just put it on either side. Um, you know. So then I won't actually have to cut the bike, which will eliminate a big problem. The problem is if I, you know, if I fuck up, then I fucked up a perfectly good bike. Which is, you know, pretty stupid. Um, the other thing is, I was going to make this repaint it again to make it the color of SpaceX of a of a uh, to commemorate the human first humans launch of the SpaceX capsule Dragon. But I'm not going to do that because this is a this paint this blue is actually pretty nice. So I'll, I'll do the battery box in orange because I still have orange, that orange right there, um, some of that spray paint left. And what that'll do is it'll actually make it look like kind of like a Jixer, uh, a Suzuki GSXR um, 1000. So it'll have that, and then I'll use like you know white stripes at the side to give it kind of like a, a racing look. So yeah, so that's the thing. I think either I think four kilowatts is definitely in the picture. It is now a question is, do I have to have to actually cut the pipe, to put the battery like this? So let me try to hold it there. like that. So the battery would be like that, or can I just put a battery on each side, and would that avoid hitting? And if I move the seat back a little bit, so there's seat post where that goes like this and then like that and like that. So move your it'll move you back a little bit. So that means that your knee doesn't hit 
go as far up as I think as possible. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit. So I think one thing I could do is I can actually just tape that to the side of that bike now and just give that a try to see if I actually hit the hit the uh, the battery when I pedal. And I do want to pedal. Um, and the other thing is I'm not sure what motor I want to buy because one of the things I want to have is PAS. So this is the e-bike I have now, as many of you might know. It has a 3 kilowatt, quote unquote 3 kilowatt, 72 volt cyclone. Great motor, you know, a couple things with it, not nothing too serious. If I had to buy a mid-drive, I would probably buy this one again and put it, put it on here. Obviously not the same. I'll have to get a, a different... Um, bottom bracket adapter or the one for the bottom bracket adapter for fat bikes in, in that way then I actually keep the look of the back tires which would be pretty cool because they're all you know this is the same color at the moment so I don't know I need to think about that um, but anyway what I'm going to do now is I am going to actually actually let's just do this together right now I think I can do this while just gonna do it. And also, this is my fifty-dollar bolt that I'm making. Just give me one second. Let me do. Let me do. Let me get some. Let's get some tape. Actually, get a scissor. I'm gonna put you down for one second while I work. One second. So there is kind of taped on the side. Obviously, it's not perfect. I'm gonna try to get on the. Let me lower this fucking seat too, so I don't. Okay, pedals. So I'm gonna try to get up, get on it real quick. So, oh yeah, that that would probably not work. Even if I move it up this way, it's gonna hit. Let's see. Let's say the seat is moved back right here. Huh. Still, it's gonna be a problem, I think. Don't take it. Don't take it. Try that again. So, if it's like this, if I can move this forward a little bit more, so if I'm back here, if the seat is moved back further, would I actually hit? So, this is like probably, yeah, this is gonna. What if I get wider pedals so that I'm pedaling out here, but then let's check if the battery actually will actually hit the, the cranks themselves. No, it actually would not hit the cranks. See? So I think that is an option actually. So what happened is that I'll just get pedal extenders so that instead of it, you know, stopping like that right there, 
uh, it'll just go out maybe another like inch or so um, so that I can get yeah then then I won't have to do I won't have to cut this beautiful frame this beautiful paint here and then mess with all the gears and stuff like that so yeah I think I'll give that a try um, I think the thing now is basically what system do I want? I don't think the cycle. So if the cycle comes with PAS. I don't think there is PAS on the cycle. That's the problem. So which means I need to get like a hub. I don't necessarily want the hub because I'm kind of liking the sound of the mid drive. So I think a lot. I had a video before about the differences between a hub and a and mid drive. If one of the differences is that the sound of a mid drive. I believe is much better than so you can feel that progression of the mo of the engine at higher RPMs you can hear the sound of it a little bit better while with a with a hub is more like just a con like a kind of like a whine almost it, it's a lot quieter also than a mid-drive um, so I don't know I'm not sure. I definitely need PAS because the problem is that uh, Nina is necessarily supposed to have a throttle only e bike here in Wisconsin. So if I have a PAS system, uh, I think that will basically eliminate that problem because I'll still be going fast as hell, but it will just be pedaling to as it, the pedaling will be the actuator versus an actual throttle. And it will still have the throttle. I'll just use the, use the throttle to get going. And then I'll use the pedals, uh, you know, the I'll use the throttle and the pedals to get going. And I'll use the throttle to, or the pedal just to keep going at speed. So then when you know when a cop looks at you from far away and you're going fast and you're pedaling, and they can't really tell what the hell is going on. But if you're going really fast, you're not pedaling at all. Then they get a little suspicious. Um, yeah, so that's the update. Uh, I need to double check how to do the battery before I actually buy the battery. So that will be next. And I hope to buy the battery by the end of this week, this weekend. Uh, so I need to research it pretty good today, and, you know, going going forward. Um, then I got to figure out what system I want. So I'm definitely not going to do 1,000 watts. Okay. I'm not going to do 48 volts. The battery is, I'm looking at now, a 57.7 nominal. So, a 60, basically 60 volts system. And, yeah, so I'm not going to do all this work just to get a 1,000 watt system. It's going to be at least 1,500 to 2,000 nominal watts. You know, it will peak up to, within a, within a, the battery themselves will be able to probably produce 10,000 watts, but the controller will probably just, out of the bag, would probably just be 2,000 or 2 to 3,000 watts. And then I can upgrade the controller later to, you know, to do 4,000, whatever. So I need to figure out, you know, I need to think about what I want to do in the long term. Um, because I'm not, well, on one hand, I kind of want a 50 mile per hour bike. On the other hand, I kind of don't want it. So, you know, there's a huge price difference between a 40-mile bike, e-bike, and a 50, 60-mile e-bike. There's a huge difference, um, especially for mid-drives. So anyway, that's, this video is long enough. I hope everyone's doing well. So the bike is here. It's assembled. Um, Going to get the battery next. Got to do some research first. Uh, so that's the update. All right, bye.